in order to add logos to your timeline you first have to import the logo into your media pool and if you don't know how to import logos into your media pool i think i've already done a video on that i'm going to leave that up here or you can figure that out yourself you now have to click and drag it onto the timeline you need to also make sure your logo is a transparent background and it's also in a png format png format would result in giving you um a transparent background and that's the most used format in most cases there are other formats that can be used but i think the png format is the best you can find i wouldn't say the best but that's the suitable one you can use so after i have done that onto my timeline if i want to put it on the top right corner of my video all i have to do is to come to the transform section of the inspector tool and then i can change the size of it change the position and then yeah so it gets in there so if i want it to be shown on this entire timeline all i have to do is to just extend it and then voila Ooh, i can see you're enjoying the videos wow I'm, I'm i'm really happy for you keep keep going keep going keep learning keep learning you can use this technique to add watermarks to your videos before sharing them with people all around the world especially your clients those who refuse to make the remaining payment you make sure you watermark those videos then you send it to them for them to review it before they can give any other suggestion towards your videos if you don't well you already know what will happen so yeah all i can do is to come to the composite there's going to be a section that's called the opacity so all i have to do is to reduce the opacity and reduce the scale a bit and voila so that's it for adding logos to your videos as always if you have any further questions just leave them in the comment section until then mapon ebe sencia